All right. We are a little late, but we are currently online. So let me get everything loaded up, and we will finally get a chance to take a look at Street Fighter VI. Okay, everything looks like it is loaded up properly. I'm gonna have to make sure all the sound stuff is all right. I have the sound down a little bit so I can talk talk about stuff here. See Red Dragons here, Crusher's here. Crusher asked, did my redeem go through? I don't see it. Yeah, I see it. I see your drop a beat. We will we'll kick off the stream with a drop a beat. And sorry for the, the somewhat late start. As soon as I loaded up the game, it put me straight into the character avatar creator. Which, hopefully you can edit your character's physical features later. Uh, maybe we'll look at World Tour a little bit later in the stream. But I, I wanted to create or replicate one of the OCs that I, I have. And I didn't really get a chance to do it at high levels of detail. So I kind of put something together real quick so I can get through it. And then uh, we could take a look at that later. Crusher asks, are you going to have Matt play sometime? Uh, I don't know if he's picked it up yet, but if he does, then I'm definitely down to play with people. I know Red Dragon's been playing it already. He's got a bit of an edge on the rest of us. But yeah, I'm definitely down to, to spar with anyone who plays this game. But before we get started, let me uh, mute the game audio, and we will get that beat for Crusher. Give me one sec. Why is this doing that? Steam. Why is Steam being weird? Oh no, this is VTube Studio. Why is VTube Studio being weird? Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. My model notes aren't working. There we go, that was weird. There we are. Okay. Let us put together a beat. says I'm not very good at fighter genre or dragon says I haven't played a fighting game in like 15 years and Christian says I felt that beat in my soul had me dancing in my chair oh 
Thanks, Crusher. Very kind of you. I think the way Street Fighter VI is geared, it seems to have some options and accessibility for people who are newer to fighting games, which is pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to go into training here. I just want to mess around with the characters. And maybe do some of the tutorials, since some of like the meter mechanics and the specific systems for this game I don't know anything about. I didn't play any of the, the beta stuff for 6, so I'm literally trying it for the first time today. It's been a rather busy work week, so I haven't had time to tinker around with the game or you know set up an avatar. So I basically did it right before the stream today. But I think it mapped my control scheme from one of the other games I played, which is good. Let's see. I guess we can just kind of start from the top. Oh, they give us range, ease of use. Okay. Crusher asks, do you have to unlock some characters? I don't know. I think the entire cast from for the default roster is available from launch. I don't think there's any secret ones. But I, I think Red Dragon would probably confirm. Because Red Dragon's been playing this longer. Red Dragon has CRM controls. I'm playing this on Classic. The modern ones are the like one button simple inputs, I believe. So I'm playing it on Classic since that's what I'm used to for these types of games. Okay. So six button fighter for Street Fighter 6. That's like all of the other games. And I, think I mentioned this a couple times on fighting game streams, but... Because my Soul Calibur stick has the default buttons for PlayStation in the Soul Calibur layout, I have to remap them every time I play a game that's not Soul Calibur. But I've got light, medium, hard, punch, light, medium, hard, kick. Okay. And classic controls means we're looking at Hadoken inputs. Shoryuken inputs. Luke. He's got a kind of mid range on light projectile. A little bit longer on medium and hard. Is full screen? Almost full screen. Crusher asks, is the music stream friendly? I guess we'll find out. I know a lot of people are streaming this now, and I haven't seen anybody talking about issues with the music. But if anything gets flagged, I'll fix it for future ones. Alright, this is quarter circle back. 214. Oh, the light one goes up anti-air, maybe? Medium, straightforward. And hard. Looks like an overhead. Okay. Sandblast, that's the forward projectile. OD Sandblast. Is that an EX? Yep. 
two punches at once. So this must be a metered, metered special. Follow up, okay. Same thing, follow up on. Quarter circle back, flash knuckle, okay. So you have to follow up after the first hit when using the meter version. One button gets you well, that's a wall bounce. So it looks like there's a one button follow up and a two button throw follow up. Yeah, you're basically canceling it to get a throw follow up. What Dragon says, trying to learn C controls, but it's hard with normal gamepad. Yeah, I could see that. I don't typically play games like this on a gamepad. I'm used to playing them on a stick. The positioning's a little bit easier. We'll, we'll go kind of quickly through moves. I don't want to spend the entire time just looking at the cast. I'd like to kind of get some practical applications and stuff. And maybe do tutorials. Maybe we'll do several characters, then go into tutorials. Because I, I would like to learn how like the drive systems and all that work. Okay. Flash knuckles and you can do in the air. Forward charge. So this is like a stance. But Luke seems like kind of a he's kind of a grapple grappler-ish type character. Maybe not, doesn't, but he has a lot of moves of getting close. Okay, kick follow up. Big kick follow up. Shoulder. Faster shoulder, heavy shoulder. So you can use. I wonder if that low profile is under projectiles too. All right, light, lights his throw. Hey, Lava King's here. Lava King asks, Hey, Raku, how's Street Fighter 6? Well, we are just starting out. So I am experiencing a lot of this stuff in here that you're seeing on stream for the first time. Because I haven't touched the game before today. But the the game looks good. It, it runs well and it, it feels responsive. Not look, noticing any sort of slowdown or any issues running it. So that's good. Alright, that's the shoulder. Rising uppercut. Just destroy to you. And here's a follow up for using the EX version of that, too. Okay, so Luke has a lot of moves with follow-ups. Okay. 
Okay, that's heavies. I don't know what that is for mediums. Okay, what we got for supers? Oh, drive impact. That's that's called that really kind of flashy looking move. A forward drive impact, battering ram. So it looks like for at least this one, the basic drive impact is armored. So you can probably absorb a hit while moving closer. Oh, did I toggle modern to modern? You're right. Okay, make sure you don't hit that. There we go, that, that makes more sense. Drive parry, okay, mediums is quick parry stance. This will see if that's universal for the entire cast. Parry, drive, rush. So from the parry stance, you can move forward and then cancel out with a dash. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, unique attacks, command normals. Yeah. Red Dragon says drive impact saves three hits. So it could absorb three hits. Functioning kind of like armor. Okay, can't do that backwards. Mediums puts you into this parry stance. And this is drive impact. Okay. Oh, the reversal is on block so it's like a block cancel armored move okay these systems are brand new to me last street fighter i played was four it's been a while all right what do we have for supers super arts okay we have double quarter circles <clears throat> usually forward or back And those are probably the. There we go. I'm not super great at these. It's gonna take some practice. But that that is quarter circle forward. Quarter circle back. Was that a grab? Okay, it's got to connect with the first hit, looks like. And core circle forward kick. The supers are super flashy and cinematic. I like that a lot. Looks good. I guess Luke's kind of like a, an MMA fighter. So he's got kind of a mix of distance closing moves and moves that knock you over or get you on the ground. Red Dragon says, costs bottom bar. Yep, our super meter is below three stocks. And overdrive meter looks like it's on the top. The green and yellow pips underneath my 
life. So drive impacts and overdrive or EX moves if they consume that. Lava King says, hot take, all 2D fighting games like Street Fighter are just anime fencing. Maybe, but then you have games like Nidhogg, which are literally 2D fighting games that are fencing. Crusher asks, does he have any grapple moves? Yeah, some of his follow-ups will throw. So if I do an EX, and then follow it up and time it, let's see, it's not that one, that one. Oh, and this was the backwards one. I think it was the back one. That. So on the EX moves, you can follow up with kind of like a, a throw input, which is kind of interesting. But I don't think he has command throws. I didn't see any of those on there. That was the DDT. Okay, let's move on. We could spend all, all stream looking at one specific character. But let's see how everyone else feels. Let's look at Jamie next. Carter says it's the button combos I can't do fast enough, which is why I suck at Soul Calibur and Street Fighter. These games, Street Fighter games tend to be a little bit slower compared to some of the other ones we've seen, like a lot of the anime fighters, which tend to be very fast. So it's not like you're doing really quick combo and chains and inputs, but the motions and whatnot just take practice. That's one of the reasons why I like playing these games on a fight stick, because it's, it's easier to do, you know, quarter circle forward, quarter circle back, or... Shorter inputs, but it still requires practice like anything else. All right, Jamie, a little bit quicker, faster movement. His quarter circle forward is kind of like a drunken back fist. Red Dragon says you can play on M controls so it's easier. That's true. The modern type that Red Dragon's talking about, it simplifies the inputs so you don't have to do like all of the crazy motions and it's not as specific. So it's meant to kind of give people an easier way to do combos without having to use like all of the old uh, motions and whatnot. So it's a good option for people who are, are newer to fighting games or want something that's a bit more streamlined. And you know, it doesn't matter. No one's going to think any less of someone fighting playing a fighting game with like modern controls they're there to make things a little bit easier all right command list down down oh yeah drunken drunken boxing is what i thought crusher says those are the worst for me i have a thing called dysgraphia which affects muscle memory in my hand I can't write well without looking at what I'm writing. Other becomes scribbles and affects my gaming. Ah, I see. Well, yeah, a lot of modern fighting games have more accessibility things built in, which is great. To make it easier for people to be able to play the games. Okay, so this raises drink level and unlocks more moves. Interesting. So, like Red Dragon saying, four drinks max, four levels, and looks like things are unlocked at each drink level. Like this one, you have to be at least level one. Dive kick from the air. Let's 
breakdance kit. That's interesting. Jamie's a bit more of a technical character than he has. Different states that he has to be in in order to get certain moves to come out. Uh, some some moves will, will add a drink too. Does the the drink state go down, or does it s just stay? There's four, and it maxes out. It stays oh, okay. Yeah, so he's got this urn of a special type of of alcohol that he drinks, which ups that drink level, and even mobility is different. Or at least just the way he moves. That's that's a really cool feature. And then his hair is untied. That's cool. There's the dive kick. That's the parry stance. Jamie's move set feels very fluid. A lot of these moves kind of seem like they chain into each other really well. I think drunken boxing characters are cool. It's always a neat, neat style. Okay. Command throw. Half circle, forward to back kick. Well, that's what that is. Does it require a follow up though? Oh, it's a stop. It doesn't actually grab them. So it puts them into like a standing stagger state. Can you we'll do that? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. Now it's a crumple. Hard knockdown. Interesting. Red Dragon says you can blue block to green dash, then grab. It's great. Yeah, it's the, the cancel thing I'm going to have to explore a little bit. That's kind of a neat mechanic. Having parry be a state is not something I've seen in any recent fighting games. But it's a state, and then you can move and, and do things out of it, which affects your mobility. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Supers. Core circle forward, kick, back punch, forward punch. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, is this just automatic max drink level? Very capoeira-esque. 
the, the windmill break dancing kicks. Lava King, uh, say Raku, do you do you guilty gear? I I do play Strive, but I haven't played it in a while. I need to get back into that one too, especially since there's a bunch of new characters that I haven't played yet. The guilty gear is great. I love that series. Crusher says, "What's your name with the doggo, Giovanna?" I love her. I want her to punch me in the face. Giovanna's cool. I need to play more of the cast. I think I was maining Zato 1 in Strive. Uh, let's see. The one with the kicks. That should be double core circle forward. Yeah, there we go. Seems pretty quick. Some of the normals look like they change height. Lava King says, I want to main Potemkin, but all I can do is ride the lightning on Kai. Potemkin's cool. Heavy grappler. I need to bring my boy Venom back, though. Venom is one of my mains in uh, Double X, and the, the million versions of Double X they've made. Uh, Crusher asks, what's the difference between the windmill and a coffee grinder move in breakdancing? Uh, I'd have to see what the coffee grinder move you're talking about looks like. The The windmill is this uh, that spinning move that Jamie's doing here. That's the basic one. There is like a barrel version where you don't have your hands on the ground at all and you basically have them kind of at your sides. So you're doing all the rotation around your shoulders. But those are the two main ones for... There's also like a grounded version of the windmill that has a different name too. I don't break dance, but my brother was learning for a while and almost broke his shoulder <laughs> trying, to, trying to do those. Okay. Let's keep going. Jamie's cool. I, li I like the, the style. Crusher says, Mario doesn't in Super Mario 64. I'll just Google it. Or are you talking about flares? You might be talking about flares. If it's the one like the gymnasts do on the, the pommel horse where your, your legs are moving all the way around your body. And your your hands are on the ground, and you're basically like going all the way around without like flipping angles. You're basically your legs going all the way around your body. Yeah, those are flares. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be in really good shape to do that. Yeah. It's a really impressive move in breakdancing, but flares are hard. Or you could do something called air tracks, which are like flares where you actually kick up off the ground as you're spinning around your body so you're not grounded. It, a, lot of, a lot of core strength to do that. All right, let's take a look at Manon. She is mid-range power type. She's kind of a grappler too, I think. find out. Manon. She's French, I think? More hydrate from Crusher. Oh. Okay. Decent ground speed. 
wonder if people have persistent dashes in this. Oh, she's tall, too. Lights, mediums, heavy. Okay, that's a stance. Kind of reminds me of Amy from Soul Calibur. Lava King says, I don't know how to feel about this girl if she took the judo roll from Abel. Oh, interesting. So she must have a lot of grabs and stuff like that. I remember Abel. Okay, that's quarter circle back. Judo and Ballerina. Interesting combo. Crutcher asks, are these characters from the beginning of Street Fighter like Ryu and Ken and Chun-Li? These, there's a bunch of new characters in 5, but a bunch of the old returning ones too. Canonically, this is the most current one in the story of Street Fighter, I think. I, don't quote me on that. I have not been keeping up on the, the overall story of Street Fighter. Okay, that's a command grab. Quarter circle back punch. Oh, that stance ends in a throw. Okay. Oh, the light one does. Oh, how do I do that? Stance follow up. That's light. That's that's medium. Okay, hard. So same animation, probably more damage, slower for the heavier ones. Lava King says, returning ones are, are from 2 plus Jury from 4. Yeah, Jury Han is from... Uh, she started in 4, I believe? She's in this. We'll get to her eventually. She was in 5 too, I think. Pretty popular character. So we'll look at her. Alright, so that's... Straight up command throw. Metal level. So she's got a meter or a state too. And the moves effect will change depending on the level. Okay, upwards kick. Yeah, it's a spinning one on the ground. Oh, you can hold the button to cancel it and not follow up, looks like. Is that what that means? Yeah, if you cancel it, there's no follow up. At least for that punch version. Yeah. Cancel it and she doesn't grab him. Oh, that is... That is not a big move list. But I imagine her moveset changes with this metal level. Cut your ass. Isn't she like a sociopath or something? You're talking about Jury? Yeah, she's she's kind of crazy. She's one of the villain characters. I think that's why she's so popular. Alright. 
so metal level. That's the command grab. But I'm already on metal level five. So whatever we're seeing here is a result of metal level five. I'll bet it's like the actual throw range. I reset. No, oh, we weren't looking at drive impacts for all the characters too. That's hers. Oh, that moves. Okay, let's look at her supers. I kind of like the way her her moves move set flows. It's relatively simple, but it seems like landing throws, upping the metal level, and sort of looking to catch the opponent off guard. Okay, pretty interesting. Okay, kicks. Six punches. They're all quarter circle forward or back right now. That was quarter circle forward. So go back. Oh, it's course will go back kick. Okay, of course will go forward kick. Is that low? Low single hit, but fast. Okay, let's well, Manon. Oh, we could just do it straight from here. That's handy. I didn't even know you could do that. All right, keep moving. Kimberly's next. Oh, that's to see the move lists. I gotta actually change characters from the main thing. All right. I was gonna say if you could just jump to characters and reload them. Speed type, mid range, normal. Well, that's how you do the expressions. Okay, so he's got a decently fast walk, walk speed. The dragon says there's a reset fight button. It might change character if you swap moves. Uh, where? I didn't even see where there's a reset fight button. Oh, but it's on one of these. 
That's fine. We can we can do it via character select for now. Okay, let's core circle back. Dodge state maybe. That's core circle forward. Looks like you can attack out of that. I wonder if it's supposed to be a, an evade. Of course, we'll go forward kick. Upwards Tatsu, core circle back. Okay, it's a Tatsu, Air Tatsu. Oh, that sprint is a, a an actual running stance state. And follow ups. Okay, if you do nothing, she'll run up and then kick you in the face flip kick on light slide on medium forward flipping kick on hard okay and you can stop it or cancel with any of the punches and the follow-ups are all on kicks, looks like. Yep. Yeah. So if you do nothing for follow-up, arc step is just one where she steps in your face. And you can do a... A punch follow-up? Oh, interesting. I don't know if you can do that. That's cool. Or a dive kick or a punch follow up. That comes out fast. Carter says, Hey, I'm a go, but thank you for the stream and beat. Decided to make that drop a beat and MB3. Let me know. Uh, buy it from you. Also, hydrate again. All right, we will hydrate again. One thing that I wouldn't have a problem with people doing it was if they if they want audio from the stream that has like the the drop a beat from like a VOD or the archives on YouTube, and you just take the audio from that section to turn it into like a just a song by itself. If people want to do that, I don't have a problem with it. They're just random beats, so it's not like I have to worry about no copyright or anything. Oh, she's got resources too. I saw the spray can. What that does. Cancelled into from normal moves. You can cancel into this from 
Oh, you can. Okay. So before a normal comes out, you can cancel in that forward lunging chop. It's good to know. Crusher says, I wanted to do that, but wasn't sure if it was acceptable. Now permission. Yep, yep, you're free to go ahead and do that if you want. But uh, thanks for tuning in, Crusher. Hope you have a good night. Drink lots of water. Okay. Oh, here's the resources. Hidden variable. This is that kind of movement. Temper the spray can to get an additional stock. Shorter can bomb. Down, down, punch. Exploding spray can. Oh, it detonates after a certain amount of time? Or you can detonate them immediately with this one, I guess? Yeah, all right. So they go out on the ground and they'll explode after a while. Basically, you're creating hazards on, on the field, and you have to, to restock using down, down. Okay. Two punches. I'm trying to see if you can do that back to back to do to stock two. I wonder if it'll let you do that. Maybe overdrive? Yep. That's two out. Okay. So she kind of creates trap hazards to control the field. Alright. It's a lot of supers. Quarter circle forward. Kick. And that changes with having one, at least one. Ah, this is an additional projectile follow-up, okay. Oh, she has a Tatsu as well. Of course, with the back punches. They're like, reminds me of Maximum Spider. So you get grounded or in the air, and I guess it starts, the startup is in the air. But forward jump? Okay. I bet that'll catch people that are jumping. Okay, core circle forward punch, more powerful when 25% or below health. Oh, that's cool. Puts a design on the floor. And does that put her into buff state too? Yep. 
Walk speed and attack power up. Okay, that, that's interesting. And the design stays. Yeah, like Red Dragon's saying, that's a neat effect that the, the graffiti art stays. Okay, what does her drive impact look like? Forward moving. Oh, I like how the music track changes, too. Okay, that, so that's Kimberly. Interesting. Fast character. Some interesting sort of mobility or kind of mix-up options. And she's vibing. Okay. Interesting. Uh, next up, Marisa. A lot of people have been tinkering around with her. Mid-range, easy, easy of use? Okay. I assume she was a grappler, so I guess we'll find out. I like the, the gladiator motif. It's pretty cool. Alright, definitely slower walk speed. Red Dragon says, not really, more of a brawler with armor. Okay. Let's take a look. Gladius. That's what I was doing. Straight punch. Can be charged. Okay. Quarter circle back. Punch. Forward punch and then a second follow up. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, guard state. Jumping downward punch, all right. Forward kick. Oh, I, oh, I see. That's the armored state. Gotcha. So it's a counter state. Stance, stance, counter state. Okay. Okay. So you can do kick or punch follow-ups. Add additional hits. Light punch, light punch. This is a throw. Indeed, that is a throw. Okay, I see what what you're saying red dragon yeah she doesn't have really like command throws or grapple stuff but she's like a close range heavy hitter and armor state that's cool i'm kind of interested to see how people play her at a high level
It doesn't look like you can animation cancel into the the parry state. That's what I was wondering about. If you could quick parry it. Her dragon says she does have two attacks in the air. There's this one. This one's kind of like an anti air, too. Interesting that it's just a hold for the follow up. That was a big hit. Alright, let's look at our supers. Quarter circle forward punch. Hold the button to change effect. That's a big hit. Oh, I see. Holding it down gets the big hit. That it's just a grounded state hit, okay? That looks like it's an anti air grab. Yeah. And results in an overhead, but if you're within grabbing range, then it goes off. Yeah. Okay. Just kicks. That's the cinematic super. Got us to the hunt. No, oh, look at drive impact. Looks like a Mid punch. Okay. All right, so that's Marisa. She does have kind of a simple move set, but she hits hard. Interesting. Next up, Lily. Mid range, easy to use. Doesn't have a super fast foot speed. I kind of would have expected her to zip around a little bit more. Man grab.
windclad stock powers up certain moves, so she's got a buff state too. Okay, that's what the the two means. That's the the wind wind clad stock. Top tops out at three. Looks like. Oh, the medium has a follow up. And medium and hard looks like it consumes stock, but light ones don't. Oh no, okay. It's just that move in general. Okay. So this is a dive. From the air, two punches. Okay, shorter you input anti air. Invincible against jumping attacks, okay. So it's a pure anti air. Three. Oh, this is the first 360 command grab. So she has a, a bunch of command grabs. Oh, that's what I was. That's what I was doing. That's super. Yeah. Okay, that's that's a clockwise 360. Interesting mix of moves. Alright, supers. Quarter circles forward and back. Oh, look, that's an anti air super. Gushin Ryuken. Oh, that's a close range grab super, looks like. Powerful when at twenty five percent or lo lower. Slip through a guard at close range, so you can't block it. 
Okay, so that's Lily. Interesting character. Resource management, decently high speed. going through all of the new characters at the top and then from here it's all the old old returning characters this next is JP tricky type hard to use talk to a couple people who like playing this dude Tall dude. Ooh, traps. Seems like a setup and traps character. those out they go off after a while and hit the opponent but you can do core circle back again to use them as a quick teleport yeah it looks like it it's like a projectile grab no dragon says teleport or an attack that's an interesting idea Triglove. Ground wave. Alright, that's the close hitting projectile. With knockback, okay. This is the trap. Jumping attacks can be used upon exiting the warp. Whoa. Spawn thorns. So this is repeat. Repeated inputs will put more of them on the screen, looks like. Oh no, that detonates it instantly, okay. Amnesia. Is that a counter? Yeah, it looks like a counter state. Forward, 
Forward hitting projectile. Oh, it's like a clone hit projectile. But if you hold it, then it's just a, f a fake out. And does not not do damage. And this is the grab. I bet those disappear if he gets hit. Okay. See why they have this guy labeled as tricky. It's a bit more of a complicated move set. Seems like a lot of setup and control, maybe zoning. Okay, core circle forward. Close hit and then a big projectile. Our dragon says, and he's British. British. Whoa, okay. Multiple hitting clone projectiles. And you can do st stuff while that's out. That's nasty. question is, do all the little clones go away if he takes a hit while that's going on? Ah, okay. OD version. Puts two out. Reminds me a little bit of Glacius from KI. A lot of manipulating projectiles. Okay, then course we'll go for a kick. And that looks like a grab. Oh, that's a teleporting grab. Okay. You do it full screen. Wow, that, that's a full screen teleporting grab, huh? But three stock, level three super. Interesting, this, this is probably the most unique move set of the characters we've seen so far. like the the layout and move set for JP. It's a cool character. Ah, all right, here's Yuri. Standing on a tire. Close range, hard to use. Oh, they pronounce her name Yuri? I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it in Korean. Okay, so she's relatively quick.
Red Dragon says the game says the name is wrong. For her, I heard, I saw comments on one of the videos, like I think it was one of the announcements or whatever, that in Korean her name is pronounced like a, a Y instead of a J. I don't speak Korean, so I don't know if that's true. But I remember her always being about kicks. Alright, let's take a look at the command list. Upwards kick, okay. Love King said it's Taekwondo, martial art. I did as a kid and very kick focused. Yep, that, that's her martial arts style. Course will go forward with follow ups. Like her, her style is Taekwondo, but all of her attacks are Japanese in name. That's interesting. Okay, that's shorty input. Tensin Rin. Course will go forward, each one has a different different type of kick. Low and high. Backflip kick. Oh, during forward jump. Okay. Dive kick. Red Dragon says she is a pain to fight. Yeah, it seems like a pretty good mix up. Move set. Yeah, that looks like a combo finisher and medium ones anti-air. Seems like uh, Jury's got a pretty good mix-up game. A lot of different options from inputs to how the moves come out. Okay. So kick, punch, kick. Oh, is that a buff state while her meter burns? Feng Shui engine. You'll be able to cancel normal moves into other moves or even unique attacks. Interesting, so it gives her kind of like a can't cancel move state. Interesting. Oh, she's got resources too.
Fuha stock. Oh, that's what the little yin yang symbol is. Okay. That burned one. There's level three super. Useful when trying to tack on big damage during combos, turning tables on the opponent, so you can kind of combo into that. Okay, it has a bunch of command normals too. There's a dive kick. Okay, so that's Jury in a, a nutshell. I haven't played this character since she first showed up in Street Fighter, but seems pretty consistent. Fast. A lot of mix-up options with her kicks. DJ, tricky mid-range, normal ease of use. All right, before we move on, I'm going to run to the little Raku's room and fry some chicken real quick, and we will keep going. Maybe we will, we'll see, maybe we'll do a couple more and then we switch things up. But I'll be back in one sec. Yeah. 
All right. Let us move on. Hey, Mr. Dirtbones is here. What's up, Mr. Dirtbones? Welcome to the stream. Are you bringing pizza for everybody? Mr. Dirtbones says, got back from swimming. Nice. Hope you had a good time at the pool. Or lake, or ocean, or wherever you're swimming. All right, we got DJ. I haven't seen DJ in the game in quite some time. Kind of a fast ground ground speed. Ah, was a pool. Gotcha. Oh, he's, ch he's got charge moves. Okay, back forward punch and down up kick. The light one is a fake out. Heavy does two. I think I've talked about this before on stream when it comes to fighting games, but I am not a big fan of charge characters. It's probably the character archetype I'm the least skilled at. Maybe with the exception of them's fighting herds. I like the charge character in that one a lot. But in general, I don't really play charge characters. Granted, a lot of more recent games have kind of improved the, the buffering system of Holding charge inputs while you do stuff like that in order to get moves to come out, but I've never been a massive fan of having to hold a direction. But it's okay. I don't think I'd ever main a charge character. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, it looks like his lights are all faints. circle back nice there's a lot of hits That's machine gun uppercut. No, okay. Retreating sway that can lead to kicking attacks or forward moving maneuvers. Okay, so that's like a back step evade. With kick follow ups. Oh, I didn't realize the attack stats in the middle are telling me where things are hitting. So I could tell what's an overhead or not. High, low, mid? High, low, overhead. That's handy. I think all fighting games should, should show where the attacks are hitting. Oh, that's the mobility. You can, can dash forward, get someone's face. Okay, what about supers?
quarter circle forward kicks. Whoa, quarter circle forward. Light punch, light punch, medium. Oh, that's a full combo chain. Light punch, light punch, medium punch, hard punch, light punch, medium, light kick, medium, hard kick. So it's a manual super. Light, light, medium, heavy, light, medium, heavy. Oh, I see. So it doesn't, it inputs off of the first attack. All right, let's look at this one first. Single shot hard kick. Oh, okay. Timing of that's interesting. So you have to go light, light, medium, hard. And then chain in light, medium, hard kick. Another one with medium, medium, light, medium, heavy, light, medium. Wow. Okay. These sunrise festivals are pretty complicated. Basically, fully manual combos that have to be input one after the other. That seems like it would take a lot of practice to do. And then you have a big follow-up finisher after the last hit. After one of these two. Oof, wow, it's complicated. And then course circle back punches for the level three. Is that a JoJo reference? I feel like that's a JoJo reference. Okay, so that's DJ. Interesting mix of moves and some probably most complicated super inputs I've seen so far. Let's look at Kami and then maybe we'll do some of the world tour. Something that's not just practice mode. So she's speed, close range, normal. I like Kami's outfit in this. Different from her other outfits in other games. Oh, there's Cannon Spike. Okay. You can hold the hard version. more hits. Spin knuckle. 
dive kick. Hooligan combination. So this is a single input that you can do a bunch of things as follow-ups out of. I remember that move. She's had that in every game, I think. No input, low kick. Kick input, cannon strike. Down kick, reverse edge. Punches, drop her straight down. Silent step, okay. Oh, she can throw out of it too. That's cool. Oh, that changes sides, too. Okay. What else we got? That's it. through guard get close okay let's look at her supers ah spin drive smasher yep remember that one killer be spin level three interesting oh I can do that in the air too forward jump yeah I guess so OD version comes out much faster, looks like. So Cammy's pretty mix, good mix of high speed. I think she's considered like a rushdown type character. Good mix-ups with things like Hooligan. 
and overall a lot of quick hitting moves. She might be in the lead for a move that I like the most so far. And I've never main Cami in any of the games that she's been in. So that's an idea. If we take a look at the character select screen, of the move sets that have stood out to me so far, I'm thinking we'll have to I'll have to look at the the rest of the returning cast at some point too. So far, Cami or Cami or Manon move set wise are kind of in the lead for potential mains. JP is cool too. Also, think Jamie's style of like the whole drunken style I think is pretty cool. Okay, I see. I don't think we're ready to go online quite yet. But for World Tour, again, I'm probably going to have to go in and tweak the character I made a little bit. But we can see what World Tour is about. So I've been thinking about strength, man. Strength. Fight. The power to fight. Is it money? Authority. A cool job, a ton of likes. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's keep it simple. I want to be strong. Can you believe it? We got self-driving cars. The time's coming. We'll be taking rockets to Mars. And yet you still got folks out there using their fists and bodies to seek strength. Yeah, I hear you, man. We're all a bunch of fools. But... You know, if you want to know about strength, you just got to get to it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets. Basic training course, huh? Any recruit? Kids, take a breather. Welcome. This is Buckler Security Services. I'm Luke, the coach around here. You're here for basic training, right? Okay, let's get you measured up. size and your reach are all factors in a fight so check everything carefully yeah, they put me back into the when it comes to athletic ability men and women the avatar creator huh sometimes when you stare at your face long enough you wonder if that oh, I can use my mouse for this that's nice but what I did this is this is what I was really quickly putting together before the stream started I modeled this particular character after one of my OCs And I think, let's see, let's look at the, the eye settings. I'll kind of quickly move through some of the parameters. I don't think I'm going to change the hair style or color or, or whatnot. But most of the other stuff I did in the 15 minutes before the stream.
is a pretty in-depth character creator. I do like that there's a lot of parameters you can kind of mess around with and change. We've talked a little bit about it on other streams, but I could spend literal hours in a character creator. But we don't necessarily want to waste time for now. Uh, I thought about changing the name to whatever my OC is called, but I'll leave it the way it is, I guess. All right, give me your Sunday best. Oh yeah, I hate trying to take photos for my ID. I always end up with something weird. Yeah, I look bored. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah, gotta say, you're photogenic. All righty, well, that should about wrap up your enrollment. Again, you can call me Luke. We're just coach. Okay, then. Let's get ready to begin. First, let's go over the basics. Now, uh, we'll run through the tutorial. Let's have you start by making it over to where I am. Feel free to walk or run, whatever gets you here. Okay, I don't have a D-pad plus left stick. I wonder if it makes me makes you run by default. What? Too easy? Hey, it was still an important first. Anyway, moving right along. I placed some panels on the floor. You see them? I want you to pass through every last one, and then make camera control. Right bumper. Okay, okay. So if I hold right bumper and hit some of those, I have like horizontal vertical pan. Okay, that's gonna take some getting used to. Movement. That's it. Complete. Good. D bag. Too bad I can't switch the button notation to PlayStation. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll look at that at some point. It'd be nice not to have Xbox prompts. Okay, specials. Looks like I'm using his moveset. More curious to see if they explain some of the meter mechanics a little more. 
A lot of the basic input All stuff right. is fine. Well, covers the basics. Kind of boring, right? <laughs> I knew it. That's how the basics are. Simple and boring. But remember, even the biggest rockets need a stable launching pad for takeoff. Or else they're just going to crash and burn. You get me? Coach, how is any of that going to help her handle this? Drive gauge decreases every time you block. Okay, I didn't know that. type to jump before you think but coach that was the kind of situation I want to learn to deal with you're not here to punch bags either right mm. ah right this is Bosch he signed up for the same regimen you are <laughs> nice hair look both of you are my trainees joined at the same time. So play nice, okay? Coach, you both came here with different strengths. Hey, Snake's here. What's up, Snake? How are you doing this evening? Trying to find that strength. Sooner or later, one of us is going to get there first. What happens to the other person then? We all know that nobody's going to be friends after that. Why bother pretending now? Ah, oh, Bosh, my man. That's a really tough question. You gotta know what strength means to you before you go looking for it. If you go looking for the wrong things, you really might end up in that situation someday. But you know what? You can cross that bridge when you get to it. You two are still my plucky little trainees. Now listen to what your coach says, and put your hearts into your training. Focus on that. Wanted something more practical, right? Well, practicality comes in many forms. But if you want to start off on the right foot in this city, man's got big forearms. Hit the streets. Hey, it's Hagar. City once dominated by the Mad Gear organization, infested with crime. Yeah, that's Metro City. If you ever played Final Fight?
Bro, no wonder frame rate just took a dive for a sec. Lava King asks, is Ken okay? I mean, as far as how he plays in the game? I don't know. We didn't get to the last third of the cast, but I think he's pretty decent. Snake says he's a homeless man now. Okay. Where is my button for? There it is. Okay. Menus. Objectives. Okay, it'll just tell me straight up where there's objectives to go. pink outfit. Assisted combos. Does it force you into the modern control scheme? Right trigger. Okay. So it's basically auto combos. I hope it lets me change that as it goes on. I don't want to use the modern control scheme. I'm used to the, the old input style for Street Fighter. Also, I want to see if I can change the display to PlayStation controls. That would be nice. Okay, that, that I definitely want on. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Let me look it up real quick. Oh, 
Oh, it's a mod. So, okay, if you want to change the scheme to show PlayStation controls, right now you have to do it with a mod. That's kind of dumb. Modern games, you'd think they would have the option to just toggle it on, since most people are going to be using an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. But it does not look like it does that. Okay, unlockables. Okay, so it's got to pick a fight with somebody. I'm level one. It's a, like a random office worker. Yeah, I showed that lady. Man, you can't fight people again. This guy's got a lot of life. Seems like I don't have a complete move set. I don't have access to my other meters. Oh, so we have parameters that go up when you level up. skill tree okay Food? Really? What can I get you? No, oh, I have nineteen sixty one, I'm assuming Zenny. No, let's recover health. Okay. 250.
Pizza is delicious. Alright, that's the objective. I'm going to have to get used to spinning the camera around manually. Two or more opponents. Oh, kind of like a tag battle. Random box guys, all right. these creative characters. Random enemy encounters, huh? Close? Oh. Drippin' style. Nice. Hey, a level three Tony. Hello. What you got, Tony? Oh yeah, it's, it's still on the modern control scheme. Let's see if I can change that somewhere. I think the avatar fight thing is for maybe playing against other people.
Okay, that's overworld controls. Maybe it'll, it'll open up once I get a little bit further. Hey, wearable gear. Character looks like she's wearing a Space Jam uniform. I was gonna make me buy a hat. Ah, alright. Is there anything else? Nope. matching hats <laughs> I want to take that hat off Customize device. Oh, maybe I can change the settings here. Oh, that's emotes. Ah, here we go. Oh, it could change fighting styles as we unlock more. Setup outfits. Skills. As we unlock skill points, this is what it talks about as far as parameters. Okay, that's interesting. Gonna wander around, look for Luke. Uh, all right, <laughs> there he is. What's up? Um, hold up, hold up. All right. Owned. So, you two check out the city, see the sights, rack up the wins, and then you come back with the confidence to go toe to toe with your lovable coach. Guess that practical training paid off in spades. Am I right? Well, it kind of beat us senseless, but all right. You gotta do what you can. Grind like crazy. Do not let up. Not for a second. The road to the top is long, but you just gotta take it one step at a time.
first step you both took just now? It's something to be proud of. Man, you two are great students. Master action, huh? Unique attacks. Huh. You know what? You make a darn good team. I don't think it'd be the worst thing for you two to take on the world together. Together? Absolutely. Do some training like we did at the gym and around Metro City. Then, the two of you can go and travel the world. We can really get to know each other. And take on all comers. Seriously. You'll have a blast. I'm sorry. I can't. I... I need to be strong, and I need to be it now. I'm not like you. I can't go around treating this like a game. Bosh, come on, coach. I'm done with the court. I got... things I need to take care of. All right, Sasuke. How can I put this? Moving on. Ah, right. All right. Ah, there it is. I wonder if it's going to let me. I guess I'll, I'll get into a fight and see if it's it's changed. Be nice if it said somewhere which control scheme I'm currently using. Make sure I have the right one. Let's get into a random fight and see. I think it's on classic now. Out here. Let me get money for beating randos and fights too. 
Do they have anything new at the store? I cannot go to the store. Oh, she's got Chun Li's <laughs> fighting style, huh? Oh, continue points. Oh, now I can go in here. All right. Thank you for coming. Okay. Eighteen hundred. That's an expensive shirt. Okay. Sell that hat. I guess we'll need to get in more fights and get more money before we can get more clothing items. So now we're headed to Chinatown. We can head over there and see what's going on before we wrap up for today. Is that a mime? I'm going to fight this mime. Sure show that mime who's boss. Hmm. Oh, so the style of the character I'm using can be leveled. And then they'll teach new moves, I guess?
So I probably have to go back to Luke and ask him to give me a new special move. Punch strength up. Unique strength up. Smacks life. Defense. Bus. Fast travel. Yep. I didn't notice the damage numbers too. Fills my life too, that's nice. Level twenty eight. That is a superhero man. There's fall damage. Oh, random enemies. Bad gear, noobs. Out of here, noobs. Chuli, not Chunli, Chuli. My friend, I'm disappointed in you. It's all 
still got fooling around on your PC. I'm not fooling around. I'm just way too good. Sorry for the trouble. I didn't mean to get you involved. I'm Chun Li. Is there something I can help you with? I wonder if we get her style. I wish I could do that. Okay. Or oh, Kiko can charge in this. As a spinning bird kick. Swap to her style now. Oh, it's right here. I'm going to start with these two. So we need to level up that style if we're going to. Get additional moves. Okay. I think we will go ahead and call stream here. Let me go back to the main menu. That was a for quick first look at Street Fighter 6. I'll be spending more time with this one going forward. I want to, to do some grinding and, and maybe I'll, I'll poke around the world tour mode some more and maybe try and unlock some stuff. But at some point, I'll have to figure out who I'm going to main and maybe try and, and unlock that stuff in the world tour mode. But... Next time, I'll have a bit more of an idea of what I want to focus on, and maybe we can go and start doing some actual matches. The best way to learn and, and get better is to fight against actual people and get smoked by people who are better at the game. Well, let me see who is online that we can raid. Uh, 
let's see. My Celia is doing a chatting stream. I guess we can go and let's see what's going on over there. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll raid uh, my Celia Corpus. And let me see. I'll go ahead and mute this. We'll go to outro. So we'll be back on Sunday, I think. Sunday for a jam stream. Be back to the grind of practicing and working on BGM stuff. So once again, thanks to everyone who came and hung out. We'll be doing more at Street Fighter 6 in the future. But until then, hope you all have a good night. Now let us commence the raid. <laughs>